Now I'm going to start to put these 90s in, tighten them up. I just like putting in a header. I put my wrench on this top joint and it will tighten up both sides of this nipple. Get the jaws caught on the hub. And this is the one that's really close to the floor joist. So as I push it, it's going to make contact with the, with the joist and push it around. Uh, as long as you have the movement in the header, uh, this shouldn't be a problem. Had this been a problem, I would have had to put a union in, uh, in that space in between the, uh, the T and the 90 um, to make that 90 face the proper direction. You never want to over tighten cast iron pipe. Um, the thread of a nipple is called a tapered thread. So it starts off small and gets larger as you get to the unthreaded part. So that's what makes the seal. Uh, if you thread cast iron in too deeply, it will crack under the stress. Black Malibu, the stuff that you use for gas piping, doesn't. Uh, it has a little bit more give to it. So now I'm going to neaten up this cut. Uh, it's too crooked and you need a nice straight cut when using the mega press fittings. So I already, you probably already see there's a little bit of rut. So I went ahead and cut that off. Now I'm cleaning up the pipe to prepare for the mega press coupling. All right, sand off any imperfections in the pipe. Um, any dirt is the mega press coupling. Clean these up. Get all the burrs off. You want to be careful when running sanding cloth like this. Here's the coupling slip coupling so it's going to slide right on uh, you want to measure the entire width of the coupling right you're going to want to put it on measure into the pipe half the distance and mark it with a piece of soapstone soapstone is a common is a is a chalk like substance but it's a little waxy too so it doesn't come off like chalk now i slide this on all the way on slide this one all the way on get my end of end of face measure add for the make in and cut my pieces You always want to make sure you have pitch going up towards the radiator so it allows condensate to come back down. This is a one pipe steam system so it uses the one pipe to do both supply and return. Take my measure, use my soapstone, make my mark. My regular steel cutter, put the guide wheels against the pipe, tighten it up, spin it around. Every couple turns, I tighten up the handle, just a little bit, doesn't need to be too crazy, and spin it around. The harder you tighten the wheel, the tougher it is to spin it around the pipe. You don't need to crush that down, just little turns. 